All eyes are once again on Oscar Pistorius as we gear up for a judgment in the North Gauteng High Court tomorrow. I'm joined in studio by criminal law expert William Booth to talk us through some of the possibilities. Thank you so much for joining me today. Good to be back again. Now, there, there are a variety of possibilities of what could potentially happen tomorrow. Won't you talk us through them? Right. He, uh, he could be convicted uh, on uh, murder where the judge finds there's premeditation or planning. That's what the prosecution have at the, at the highest level of the argument try to present to the court. Then uh, there's the issue, if premeditation is improved, that it be murder without planning or premeditation in respect of uh, the unlawful killing of Reva. Then we've got the situation that uh, relates to the intruder. And there he could be convicted of murdering the intruder. And then finally, if the court finds that the state has improved uh, all of those aspects beyond a reasonable doubt, you could have a situation of culpable homicide. In other words, the negligent um, killing of the, of the intruder. And because uh, Oscar's version has been that he uh, believed, although mistakenly so, there was an intruder and that he acted, uh, although mistakenly so, in self-defense. So even if his version is accepted, the court could still find him guilty of of murder with regard to the intruder if it finds that he went beyond what he was allowed to do in terms of our law pertaining to uh, self-defense. But is there a possibility that he would be acquitted? There's always that possibility. Uh, you know, and to do that, the court must find that his evidence is reasonably possibly true. There's no onus on Oscar to convince the court of anything, but because he's testified, the court has to obviously look at his credibility as a witness. And if that is accepted, and it's accepted, that on his version he was lawfully entitled to go and fire four shots, get a firearm, make it firing ready, go and fire four shots into a very small toy, knowing that there was somebody behind the door. Except that he was entitled to do that in that manner then the court could acquit him. And the court could say, well, hang on, we have got special situation here because Oscar was in a specific emotional state. Uh, he had uh, uh, acted, although not maybe in a rational way, in a way that one could expect uh, another person to, to have reacted to the same set of facts. And that's, of course, what Barry Rue is trying to to argue all along that there is no reasonable man in this situation. Oscar Pistorius has a very unique set of circumstances. Yes, and that would relate obviously to his conduct if the, if, if the court looks at the lesser charge of culpable homicide. That deals with the negligent killing of somebody and the court has to look at what would the reasonable person do in those circumstances. Now, what would the reasonable person in the same situation as Oscar with the fact of his uh, physical disability, his emotional state, um, you know, is it is that reasonable to go and do what Oscar did? And you know, there's been a lot of criticism of his version, but if it's accepted as reasonably possibly true, then uh, and found secondly that it he was entitled to do this. In other words, he acted within the ambit of self-defence. Uh, then he could be acquitted. 